Okay, so if I was to do the actual UVs within Blender, I kind of want to show you this. I have now this knife and a UV texture editor. And you can see that the UVs are in separate shells, but there's a lot less shells to deal with. These are nice. The other one's nice too. These, professional grade. Either one will work just fine. I'm going to use these because I'm lazy and I got these right here. I didn't do the switcheroo thing. I hate when artists do that. You can definitely do it with the other UVs just fine. And it'll work just perfect. Okay, now, what we need to do is bake this out as an ambient occlusion. Okay, to do that, let's close this out and go into uh, Rendering Editor's Hypershade. And let's see. Uh, I could have quickly, easily right-clicked on a knife and assigned a new material and go to Lambert 2. Or I could have dragged this Lambert with the middle mouse button, clicked it, dragged it over to the item. Either or will work just fine. Next, what I want to do, and I don't think it really matters, but I like going into the rendering settings and choose Mental Ray. And under Mental Ray tab, I like to use production quality. Close that out. Now let's go into the rendering tab. Under lighting and rendering, shading, batch render bake, square box. Here I choose several things. One, I want the selected item to be baked. I want to bake its shadows along with it. I want to use bake set override with it. I want occlusion for this. The rays are defaulted 64. The higher this number, the longer you're going to wait. I found orthogonal reflection to work really well sometimes. So I'm going to choose it just because I like it. 2048 maps fine with this. Actually, I could get away with a 512 by 512 as big as the UVs are. And I want TIFF. Bake to one map. Very important that's on. Now, if you are smart, you will go in here and project new this. And on the desktop, I will need a knife bake. And hit use defaults. The reason I did that is because now it will bake this out to a folder on my desktop and put all the video, all the, the actual textures within that. So here's my knife bake. I'm going to save this scene in here and call it knife. Okay, good. Now let's hit convert. Now when I hit this convert button, it's going to take about, ooh, it could take about five minutes, could take 10 minutes. Make sure you select the knife, hit convert, and I'll be back when that gets done. 